glad to have you join us again. If you just joined us, this is Business Breakfast. We're broadcasting to you live from the studios of Ibrand Television in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. I did make mention earlier that Charles Frakoga, public affairs analyst and the uh, stockbroker, will be joining me um, after the break. And hey, we're here. Charles is joining me live from um, Lagos, but virtually now. Charles, good morning. Glad to have you join me on the program today. Yes, and thank you. Bless him. I'm actually joining you from the Mini Stock Exchange on Tinebu Tinebu Street. Oh, great! Yes, at the half of Lagos. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Before we dive down straight, um, straight into our conversation today, can you bring us up to speed as to the activities going on at the stock market and what direction do you think the stock market will be tilting towards today um, at the close of trading activity for the week? Well, if you look at what has happened already with Monday, the market bled, Tuesday, the market bled, yes. but 1.04% when well, we have set last week a meeting ceremony. And Wednesday, the market was a bit off 0.1, slightly. Mm. Mm. Of course, yesterday, we saw it um, bleeding again. Yes. And we are fallen below the 100,000 point. Mm. The other thing is about 99,000. That's there about now. So, it's a mixed market. for are the balancing. And of course, recommendation issue. And some few macroeconomic and equities here and there. You know, so... Again, the year to date can also come down to about 30 mm. percent. So we can see that yes, all this as a result of numbers coming to the market and investors trying to rebalance their portfolio. So However, oh. for me, looking at today's market, I yes. think um, from what we have seen so far now, it's still very early to predict. Mm. But I will tell you, the market is still likely to close slightly in the negative direction. All right, Charles, with, with all that you said, that with what all the sentiment was seen, the sentiment and the fundamentals were seen playing out in the market now, should investors be really, local investors now, should they be really be worried about the outlook in the market this period? No, they should not be worried because if they are invested in the financial service sector, you can say that sector has made dividend payment. So it's not left for each, each investor now. Even all the sectors, they are made payment. So it's for you to look at at what time you bought these stocks. How much are they paying you? What is your dividend yield? If it is something that you can pay, fine. Then for others, as these observation companies have come down, for me, this will also be an opportunity to get into the market. In this market, if you want to be an investor, be an investor. If you want to be a speculator, be a speculator. But can you afford the risk? And you have large amount of money to speculate so that when the returns come, they will be high for you. But at the same time, when the returns are negative, then you should be willing to pay it also. So it's a mixed market, but most importantly, investors should get in touch with their broker that they can collaborate and use both fundamental and I used to say technical analysis to come up with inform All right, let's just focus away from that now and get down to the business of today. Looking at our top business stories now. I'll start with this one now. There is this report from the debt management office saying that Nigeria's public debt stock as at December the 31st, 2023 has eaten 94.34 trillion naira. Charles, what is your reaction? It is said that borrowing is not a problem. I agree with that. But the big question now is do we have what it takes to repay and to sustain this loan that has been borrowed. Your thoughts on this, Charles? Well, that's a very good one. Well, I agree with you. Um, borrowing is not that good because we have been told that he who goes borrowing goes sorry. Exactly. But I won't, I won't comment DMO. Mm. You can see that DMO for me is a great thing like the department that is not in government. Mm. Actually, Kindly, not these figures. And for me, as a personal finance expert, we have come to realize and by research that if you keep accurate record of your finance, accurate record of your debt, the tendency that you are going to reduce it is there because you will see it clearly. That has therefore has made us to say this is. Our debt, both domestic, international, including the fixed estate, and of course the FCC. So everybody knows where the 
belong to. Now, only for sustainability. Of course, the managers of the economy are told us that yes, the level in which we are going is still not far away from the standard. But again, we don't need to get to that threshold before we can begin to ask ourselves. At this point in time now, we are talking of um, over 97 trillion naira. Mm. But again, you can see that if what has made that increase is to fund the current uh, budget. Now, in funding this budget, what are the likely results from it? We should be looking at ensuring that the projects that are advanced in this budget are in presented so that Nigerians will see some of these benefits. And what is the impact in the economy? Now, I come to the issue of whether we can pay back this uh, debt. We are not going to pay this debt overnight. And we should not devote so much of our revenue to now they're taking up servicing this debt. Mm. We should go beyond servicing this debt and look at actual paying this debt. For me, I think the government should slow down when it comes to this borrowing for us to move forward. The government should really slow down and we be thinking of how to increase our revenue mm. so that not only those going to service this debt, we should be able to pay some of this debt come out to workable plan, fighting all our weaknesses and most importantly, reduce the cost of all right. Now, this debt um, profile we're talking about now, this particular figure is not on the federal government alone. It is inclusive of the 36 state government and the, uh, and, 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 the, and, the, and the government at the national level. Now, let's bring it down to the sub-national level now. You know, I, I, I was asking myself this question as in, why would state government go into huge debt when they are not really generating anything in terms of their internet, internally um, generated revenue? In this regard, what do you think the situation should be now? And how do we hold our government accountable to loans that they borrow with no evidence in terms of infrastructure or impact on the life of the citizens that they govern? Yes. Like I said, um, DMO has given us the figures they are there. It's now left for each of these residents in their various states to begin to ask their state government for assembly and said, This is your figures of death. What are the things you have done with it? They should begin to query and ask questions. And if they are not satisfied, then they should go further, you know, compelling the government to make some of these things public. So that, let's take a particular case now, say, so to come out and say, these are these and these are the debts we are taking. And these are the projects on things we have done with it. So, it is now left for each state. The residents in this state to do that. But of course, civil society organizations will need to stay ready and we continue to ask this question who is this service accountable? Our state, in fact, they should go back to their constituency and say, look, we voted you in there. You are representing us. This is the debt we are saying, this is our state is going. What are the things that have been done with this? And this is the thing that needed to be done because there is no way you will call this government responsible if the citizen does not speak. So we continue to speak and ask questions continuously for them to tell us what they have done. Now, for those ones who cannot generate internally and get money from their state in terms of internally revenue, again, I will continue to advise them. You are being elected as a governor. Mm. Your position as a governor is to ensure that you improve the life of your citizens. And what do you need to do? You think outside. You are ready to generate enough revenue. Looking at resources, both natural and human, in your state. Then you are not going to be the chief executive of the state. Because God has told the fact that there is no place in Nigeria today that we don't have one resources or the other. So it is a matter of leadership. Mm. With the right leadership, we'll be able to address this resource.
ανακοινώσει ότι θέλει να γράψει όλε τι σύνδεσει και για να σπεκτιμέ. All right now, let's just focus now to the next story now, so try to wrap up because of time. Um, the, on, the, the, the ongoing um, spring meeting, the, the Minister of um, Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Edun, is currently at the spring meeting of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. And guess what? He's making a case for the country, telling global investors to come over to the country, come over to Nigeria, and take advantage of the reformatory policies being made by the President Bola Ahmed Tunubu um, um, administration and enjoy good return on investment. But many people are saying here yeah, that even look the the, 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 the the businesses that are being run in the country are struggling to benefit from these policies. So what then is international um, or global investors coming to benefit from a country where its business operating environment is still volatile, there's a scarcity of the Nera, no power supply to power businesses, unemployment is also at the in, uh, 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 is, is, is increasing, inflation rate is increasing, um, interest rate is also high. So what benefits is investors coming to benefit in Nigeria operating um, um, environment? How do you react to this? Could it be as a result that the minister is clamoring for investors to come to his country or come to his house that is not well sorted. Your reaction to this, Charles? Okay, thank you very much for that question. Listen, what do you expect the marketer who goes out to the field to sell a product? Whether that product is good or not, the marketer will still find features and benefits of that product. And that's what the minister has just said. No, that's something new to me. But people in this kind of bad situation we should find ourselves mm. in the country today. Like you have mentioned, in terms of power, electricity, business environment, there is a lot of opportunity. It's just like you send somebody to an island, you are a shoe making company. You get to the island and say, ah, this one are not putting on shoes though. Everybody is going to LA, they don't need shoe. And that's just one who goes there and say, ah, this is a big opportunity. Nobody wears shoes here. I'm coming to introduce shoes to them at least. When it comes to my a lot of what is wrong with that supply there. So it is why you see the, the bottle of apple or apple empty. So there is a lot of opportunities in Nigeria today. Even in terms of security, we can have investors from advanced to come and begin to advise us on our security in terms of how to use technology to pay some of the security. Issues. For me, it's a form of investment. The issue of power, we need to invite them to come and look at our power sector. So you can see that with all these issues, problems here and there, business environment, difficult, viral issue, and all that, it is an opportunity for investors who are selling, who understand the global investment environment. I say yes, this should be a better because the market is here. You can't play with over 220 million people in the country, young population. So, any investor from the average issues of security, power, my food, and initial problem. But these are not issues that cannot be taken care of. But the government has to be prepared, the government has to collaborate with its investors. And ensure that they are giving some incentives. And I believe the minister doing the marketing job, yes, these people will come. Then we must also, we need at home, yes, we must also make the environment a little bit better for this person to be willing to come and do some of this investment we have invited. In. The second one there, if it's not like that, we need in construction, the housing, we have a housing benefit. If it's a road construction, you can see what the current government has started doing. But my advice was it be, let there be transparency and integrity. All right, then let's wrap up now with this final story. Now, there seem to be some kind of um, 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 drop back in air prices this season after the um, 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 air peace um, airfare war that we, we noticed within air peace and some for, foreign airlines but bring it back home now we're seeing some kind of decline in the in the cost of airfare within the aviation sector what would you say is responsible for this despite the scarcity of of, of a foreign exchange and also an ike 
in Jet A1 fuel that powers our, our aeroplane. What other factors do you think is responsible for this? Before now, to travel, you, 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 you are a frequent traveler, and when you travel, you travel by air. And you did make mention of the fact of how the cost of air flight is really on the, on the increase for domestic um, flights. Now, we're seeing that the prices are br being brought down despite these macroeconomic problems facing the industry head on. How do you react to this? And do you think we're actually safe as a, um, air, air, air passengers? Yes, uh, that's a very good word. You see, um, supply and demand is a key factor. What I would like to know. Mm. Uh, you can see that the rate of um, Nigerian traveling has really decreased. The demand for air services has really gone down. And if airlines need to continue to be in operation, and that's why we are saying some of them, that's fine that you have said the increase in their air work well, which is one of their main uh, fuel for the aviation industry. You can see that they are now reducing their price to attract more customers to come. Yes, but for how long can they sustain this? And that is where the government needs to encourage them and ensure that, again, business environment, why would they say, why would the price be going up? The government needs to come into that area and see that that may be that the use, the price is regulated and of course affordable to this airline. And we want to also give kudos to a national, a, a national airline. And actually, let me mention their name. Because they have done everything possible. They might have shown the distribution of fast coffee made. Yes, and I will assure you that the business is made might not be profitable to eat in the short term. But in the long run, it's going to be profitable to eat. So, the Nigerian Army is encouraging other local airlines to continue to be in business. At the same time, keeping this international airline, you know, in spite of their money. So, yes, it's as a result of the demand of airline services that is making the demand is less. So, the airline will need to reduce their air tickets. Oh, okay. We'll leave it at that. Because of time, I'd like to say a big thank you to you, Charles Fakuga, public and business affairs analyst, also a stockbroker. Have for yourself a wonderful day ahead and a restful weekend ahead of you. Thank you. You also did it. All right, then. Still to come after this timeout. The Nigerian Exchange Limited or Shell Index depreciated again by 0.06% to close at... 99,845.91 basis points on Thursday. What is going on? Why are we having consistent decline in trading activities this week? Ambrose Amorjan will be joining me live in the studio to give us more insight into this as we make projections for the final trading activities for today at the stock market. Don't go nowhere. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. <music> 